Hello everyone, I'm Ken Chamier, and welcome back to The Longest Journey. And last time, she had a bad dream. And now we're going to go over here. Oh, if you double click, it makes a run. Okay, that's good to know. <laughs> That'll make traveling a little bit easier. Oh wow, this is seriously a lot better. The omnipresent screen. <laughs> the omnipresent screen. I don't pretend to know how it works, but all the data apparently passes through tiny little black holes in the fabric of our dimension. You know, that really freaks me out when I think about it. Make it sound so magical. <laughs> Work board. Be considerate. Keep the volume down after 11 p.m. Fiona. Okay. Annual summer blowout at the Fringe Cafe. Friday, August 4th, 8 p.m. Free food. Live performances by Royne Dale. Harlequin Masquerade. The Go-Getters. Tickets available at the bar. $10 only. Spread the word. They had me at free food. <laughs> uh. Pizza and movie night. Monday, July 31st. B Y O S, E Y O what? Soap? <laughs> I want some pizza. San Francisco. I'd love to go there someday. Someday soon, hopefully. I'm sorry, but big sweaty jocks do not turn me on. I'll take a nerd any day. I can't tell what that note's saying as long as it's up there. Fiona's handwriting is not particularly legible. Yeah, take the peek note. Found. A gold ring under the common room sofa. If it's yours, let me know. But no false claims, please. Fiona. I did lose a gold ring a few weeks ago. I hope this is the one. I'll have to ask Fiona about it. Yeah, do that. I'm sorry, but big I'm sorry. Oh. But big sweaty jocks do not turn me on. I'll take a nerd any day. Oh, I gotta check on something. Alright. There you go. Duty roster. Common room duty roster, July twenty seventh. April and Emma. Oh joy, manual labor, my favorite. <laughs> and if you're wondering what that was. That way, I was receiving um, Discord messages from Sir Bear, aka VK. Well, previously known as VK, but he has now rebranded to Sir Bear, and I will be calling him that from now on. I've got to get myself used to it. Okay, there you go. Yep, talk to Fiona. Let's see if that ring is mine. Morning, Fiona. Good morning, darling. You're up early. Yeah, I couldn't sleep. Are you feeling all right? You look a little pale. She's paler than me. Bad I dream. Had a bad nightmare. Again? Well, you're not the only one, darling. Mickey woke me up screaming in the middle of the night. She wouldn't go back to sleep until I made her a cup of herbal tea. Nightmares? Apparently. But she refuses to tell me what they were. I think she's embarrassed. That doesn't sound like Mickey. I know, darling. Don't tell her I said so. But I've never seen her so agitated in my life. She scared the hell out of me. I don't know why I have nightmares. I guess they could be stress-related. After all, the exhibition's right around the corner. Oh, yes. The school exhibition. How's that going? God, don't ask. I have no idea how I'm going to finish my painting on time. I haven't felt inspired in ages. I think you work too hard, darling. You need to relax once in a while. Live. Enjoy your youth. There's inspiration to be found in hedonism, you know. 
No, I don't know, but apparently you do. <laughs> I don't even know what Ted is. I'm not on the subject, darling. Ask Mickey. She'll tell you I don't lift a finger around the place unless I absolutely have to. Can I ask you a few questions? Yeah. Why, certainly, darling. About what? I don't have any more questions right now. Don't hesitate asking if there's... I'd better oh. get going. But I got to... school. Yeah, there are no more classes this semester, but I have to finish my painting by next Thursday. I think I have to sh well, um, worth, click on the thing Good and then luck. click that don't on her. Work too hard, all right? I yes. saw this note on the corkboard. I think the ring might belong to me. I'm sorry, I have to ask, but could you describe the ring? Sure thing. It says Sweet Sixteen. My dad gave it to me. I think it was the only birthday of mine he remembered, or at least acknowledged. Yes, that's the one. I found it under the sofa when I was vacuuming. Here you are, darling. Yeah, so was her ring. Thanks. It's not worth much, but it's got a certain sentimental value for me. It's a very pretty ring. Yeah, yeah it is. My dad never gave me anything pretty before or since. He must have won a poker game or something that day. You know what's strange? I don't hate him. He's a bastard and he treated me like crap almost every single day of my life. But I don't hate him. I feel sorry for him. Why? Because he doesn't know how to love can't love anybody or anything, and because he'll be miserable every second of every minute of every day until the day he dies. That is really sad. God, I'm glad that life is behind me. I hope I never have to see him again. No, that doesn't sound right. I've made a choice not to see him again. Ever. That is a very sad ex existence. Matchbook. I might need this. One thing these game, the point and click games taught me, pick up everything. Because you never know what you're going to need. Yep, time to go outside. Oye, senorita. Hello. Yes? How are you this morning, senorita bonita? Fine. I'm fine. And you? Sunshine and pretty senoritas give an old man like me the blues. I like my days cold and rainy. In fact, I think I prefer the world to be in black and white. That is weird. Like an old movie. Like all good movies. But tell me, senorita Ryan, how would you describe your perfect day? The old me would have said hot and sunny, but I'm tired of burning up. At least when it's cold, you can warm up. But there's not always something to cool you down in the middle of summer. And, and who doesn't love rain? Cold and rainy like yours. Está bien. We are alike, you and I. But this heat is not why you are unhappy, no? You are trouble, my nightmares. How the heck what? does he know? You are afraid of them. You even fear your dreams may be real. Who told you about my nightmares? No one. I can tell from looking into your eyes. I see the ghosts that haunt you. 
I don't know who you've been talking to, but from now on, stay the hell away from me in my personal life. No puedo, señorita Ryan. You have a destiny. Destiny? I don't care what you think. Just, just leave me alone. If you don't face them, I'm afraid your nightmares will continue. Soon they will appear to you even when you're awake. You need some serious help, you know that? We all do, April. That's the reason we are here, you and me. That's it. I don't have to listen to this. <laughs> Perdóname. I've upset you. We didn't think you'd react this way. I hope we can talk again soon. I don't think so, no. Please, think about it. And señorita, cuidado. Be careful. What the heck was that sound? Well, I've collected some stuff. Thingy. What is that thingy? Rust is the very definition of Venetian architecture. Think of San Francisco without the hills. Paris without the cafes. Venice wouldn't be the same without the rust. It would be better. Not the same. That was sarcastic as heck. That's probably Mickey's handiwork. She's the tool gal around these here parts. I wonder why she put the clamp there, though. Oh, be right back. Another message. Oh, right there you go. What a mystifying contraption, and completely absurd. What are all these valves and wheels and thingamajigs for? What grand purpose does it all serve? I guess that's a pressure gauge. It's at 100. That's percent, I guess. 100 percent pressure? That doesn't seem good. The water tank's full. Mystifying. <laughs> it's a rusty old wheel. I'd imagine it turns the water on and off. It won't budge. The pressure's probably too high. Mystifying. Mystifying. Oh. It seems the clamp served a purpose after all. What a surprise! <laughs> oh. The cables are too far apart to tie them back together. Looks like a big piece of cable was torn off. Mystifying. Alrighty then. It's like I am heading this way. Yep, flying vehicles. I think we are in the future. Wait, can I head this way? Okay, no I can't. The subway... Park the cafe. Big surprise, I'm still here. <laughs> Head to the park. From what I've been told, the clock stopped on the very day of the infamous Venice massacre in 2109 to the minute the police opened fire on the squatters. Wow. At least you can make a run.
this guy's out here all day long, all year. He never stops painting, ever. And I doubt he's ever finished even one painting. This guy's out here all day long, all year. He never stops painting, ever. And I doubt he's ever finished even one painting. Okay, the Academy. I can't even begin to guess what that's supposed to be. Well, she did need to head to the Academy, so... This is good. It's notice the board. Lava notice board. Only registered students are allowed to put notices up here. Ooh, take the rubber glove. That might be useful. Why would somebody toss out a perfectly good work glove with just one big hole in it? What a terrible, terrible waste. <laughs> nice, very Van Goghish, with just a hint of Munk. I have no idea who those people are. I mean, I've heard of Van Gogh, but I haven't heard of Monk. Art books. Bookshelf. There's a really nice one here on Turner. I love his landscapes. Oh, head upstairs. Emma's really good with the Hala sculptor. And her imagination is so vivid. Good thing we're best friends, or I might be jealous. <laughs> might be. Some books on color, composition, and... Duck hunting? Hmm. Why duck hunting? Those sketchbooks belong to some of the other students who share the space. I can only think of two things more depressing than a blank canvas. Death and taxes. I'm way past finger painting. I need a paintbrush and palette. There you go, paintbrush and palette. There you go. Take that. I'm way past finger painting. I need a paintbrush and palette. Yes. Use that on here. Hiya. Emma? Hi! I didn't expect to see you here today. Me neither. Are you busy? Nah. Well, I am. But I was about to wrap up for today anyway. Why? What's going on? I have an important message for you. Okay. From whom? Yeah, from whom? Believe it or not, girlfriend, but it's from Cortez. Excuse me? He said to tell you that he wants to meet you, these are his exact words, where children visualize their dreams. Visualize dreams? What's that supposed to mean? Me? I was hoping you would know. What is that sound? Did he say anything Did he else? Did say anything else? No, nope, that was it. Why does he want to meet you? Oh, don't tell me. You guys are having a secret love affair. Oh, yeah. We're eloping and flying to Africa tonight. It's all been happening so fast. My heart's a flutter. <sighs> How romantic. I couldn't imagine a better catch than Senor Cortez, the Latin lover. 